hello and welcome to this, you know, slightly weird video for me. Yes, I am <laughs> drawing humans today rather than dragons and uh, yeah, I very much don't really know how to draw humans so I figured I would kind of show my recent attempts at learning how to draw humans, at least human faces, in video form because I think it's crazy how much I was able to learn and how much I still absolutely don't know. So I figured uh, we'd take a look. So this is the last human that I drew, which apparently I drew around March 28th of this year, 2022. Um, and uh, you know, she, for the most part, looks like a humanoid. Humanoid. Yeah, so it's been about five months since I drew a human, and I guess at the time that I started wanting to draw humans again, it would have been like four and a half months, which, you know, still is a very long time. <laughs> so, as you can probably tell from that little story, I rarely want to draw humans rarely have the urge. I really prefer drawing dragons or fantasy creatures just because they're more interesting, you know? Um, but I saw a couple draw this in your styles that I really wanted to try and so that's why I started drawing humans again. So this is one of the ones that drew me in. I just had to draw this. So I'll show you the process. So admittedly, she starts out a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. There was a lot of learning as we go with this one. This is, again, the first human that I had drawn in, like, four and a half months. So, the paint over sketch, like, the sketch in the digital app turned out way better than the sketch on paper. Which is kind of funny, because usually my sketches on paper turn out nice. That's why I sketch on paper and not just in Procreate. But, you know, I wasn't gonna complain about the sketch turning out better after... I found myself having to refer back to the original draw this in your style image so much because my brain like knows what a dragon head is supposed to look like but it does not know what a human head is supposed to look like and so so every single painting today had a lot of referencing going on because I was just lost I'm like they so they don't have a muzzle so how the heck does the mouth shape work like, what are the forms? What parts go in? What parts go out? I, it's, I had no idea and I still really don't know anything. <laughs> I tried to use my normal method of painting, which is to rough in some flat colors and then go in with a light blue in the overlay to add lighting. It kind of worked out. I ended up having to adjust a lot of coloring using like different layer modes. I think overlay a lot is what I used but yeah right there I'm adding some more color to the skin rather than just this like weird beige. I have certainly not fully figured out how to color human skin but I was kind of just winging it at this point. It's like I know human skin has a lot of different colors in it ever since I watched this video from I don't know how to pronounce his name but it's Alpe F if you I'm, I'm really sorry about that for anyone who ever has to hear that, ever. Um, but he's a really good oil painter and he has a video that's like human skin color isn't real or like something like that or like skin tone shades aren't even real. And after I watched that video, I was like, oh my gosh, he's totally right. So yeah, human skin is like not just skin color like tan or brown or whatever but I'm not at the point where I can kind of tell which colors go where. So I have to let layer modes do the work for me, and I know that's fine. It's a perfectly fine way to work. You know, you use the tools that are available to you, but I, I want to know. I want to know why this color looks good here, and I just haven't figured it out yet, so. All right, this is the next Draw This In Your Style that I absolutely had to do. There's a common theme here, which is like witchy priestess type stuff, and I'm honestly, I'm not mad at it. So this drawing, oh my gosh, I haven't struggled with a drawing so much in a long time. I struggled with it and struggled with it and then went back to it a few days later and had to totally redraw it. So 
This is kind of a longer one. This one I was a bit happier with the sketch, but from there it kind of goes a little bit downhill and you know that's okay because I mean I can't expect myself to be amazing at coloring and rendering skin and clothes and metal when I barely ever do it so I know this is something that I try to say a lot but art is not <laughs> about talent it is about practice and skill so none of us can expect ourselves to be good at something that we have never done before. I mean, really experienced artists would be able to go into a type of drawing that they've never done before and it would probably turn out pretty good, but it still wouldn't, it likely wouldn't turn out, you know, up to their own personal standards. I mean, I'm not a really experienced professional artist, so I don't know. I just, the long story short, don't want people to be discouraged if the first time you try drawing a dragon or a human or whatever, if it doesn't turn out great, that doesn't mean you're a bad artist, that just means you need practice. So, okay, rant over, I'm getting off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not totally getting off of my soapbox, but like, I just thought for so long that art was about being naturally talented. Like, through high school, I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, normal. I can't become really good at art because I'm not good at art. Like, but it doesn't work that way. Art is a skill. You have to learn it. Ugh. Okay, climbing back off the soapbox. I mean, if I didn't ramble for a little bit, it wouldn't even be one of my videos. So, it's basically required at this point. But, in any case... This is the first version of this drawing. I, the way it is right now, definitely need more variation in values in the face. The face doesn't really look like a face, and also, it looks kind of, kind of dead-ish. I mean, the eyes are supposed to look like mysterious and dead-ish, but yeah, it just looks to me now, like after I have done studies and like redone this painting, it. I can definitely tell that I didn't understand the forms of the face, and so the face kind of ends up looking a little blobby, which again is fine. I was actually pretty proud of this, and then I started doing some studies, and I was like, oh, I have to redo it. That's kind of the both a positive and negative of knowing that you're going to post something on social media. It does make me try, but it also kind of prevents me from posting if I if I'm not proud of it, but at least in this instance, it made me try again, which is good. Another thing that I absolutely had a really hard time with and still don't fully understand is rendering the coins or like metal bits on her head. It's jewelry and they're supposed to be flat discs or like slightly domed discs of gold or I mean, what else would it be? It, it has to be some type of gold. And I just, I redid it a ton of times in the first rendition of this painting. I redid them a ton of times in the second rendition of the painting. And I, I still don't really know what I was doing. <laughs> I think if I were to go through this again, I would just kind of focus on rendering a couple referring to the reference, finding more references for the gold discs. Like, I'm kind of kicking myself here because it's like, seriously, if you are having that hard a time figuring out how to paint something, look up a reference. That's what references are for. I just, I was being stubborn, I guess. <laughs> anyway, here's me trying to, again, add light like over top of what I've done with the skin, add some more colors, add, you know, tone variation. Is that the right word for it? Anyway, like skin tone variations, like, sorry, I hit my mic. Anyway, yeah, it's like I know there should be more color to the face, but I don't really know how to do that. And when I'm lost in rendering or, you know, or in terms of trying to color things, I end up with really muted colors, so I have to like add color back and and all that stuff. And that's kind of what I was doing. Anyway, this is the 
quote unquote finished product of my first round trying to draw this face and here I go I cleared everything and started trying to draw her again so between that painting and this one I I think I did one more human that I didn't show here because I don't know it if I hers was also a really long process that I tried to do multiple times and it would make the video like 19 minutes so I'm I might include her in a different video it is house of the dragon fan art so yeah I'm I mean I'm one of those people who was like uh the way they ended game of thrones like I can't support this franchise anymore but you know house of the dragon sucked me in like what are you gonna do it has dragons it's the targaryens I I just had to Anyway, with this face, I was very much more focused on the forms of the face, and I actually sketched them out as I was drawing the face itself to give myself a guide for where tone shifts should be, or I'm not really guiding to tone shifts, I'm guiding myself for where the forms are, which will correspond with tone shifts, if that makes sense. But yeah, and the other thing is with this one, I had a reference like, it might pop in and out actually of the recording of the speed paint. I don't remember if I had it like physically in the painting or if it was just in Pinterest off to the side, but yes, I had a reference that I was looking right at. And the other thing is you can kind of, I feel like rendering quote unquote, I don't really render, I just kind of paint, you know, whatever. The rendering of the face just went so much faster because I had been practicing so I did like another girl, House of the Dragon fan art. Then I did a study with like color picking and looking at a reference and kind of really trying to figure out where each color was. And then I did this one. Yeah, and then again, when I'm unsure, I make colors and values very muted and close together. And so I'm kind of trying to add a bit of strong lighting to the face <laughs> artificially with an overlay layer, you know, as I do. But yeah, uh, I did, as you saw, lasso to change the proportions of stuff. Gosh, I love digital art so much. And now it takes me literally the same amount of time to try to figure out how to do these gold discs <laughs> as it did for me to try to figure out how to do the face. And you'll see, I go through so many different lighting schemes. I'm like, I'm like kind of uh, not depressed, but I'm like, oh, just thinking about it. Cause it's like, find a reference. <laughs> if I had just found a reference, everything would have been so much easier. So just know as you're watching this, I am suffering the whole time this is happening. <laughs> I am slightly more happy with how the necklace rendering went, but then I wasn't sure what to do about the lighting on the neck and the necklace. And so in the end, it kind of looks weird because you can tell I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> but anyway, I do have to circle around to, I am really proud of how the face turned out this time. And I know that I should just use a reference for metal in the future. So this is actually why it's pretty fun to look back at the paintings that I did in these videos. And then I can kind of, I don't know, review what I did and think about what I did differently. And I think it helps my art actually. And at the least, it entertains me to do these. So that's good. And I hope it entertains other people. But, you know, at least I'm entertained. So time between the first painting of this video and this painting, which is the most recent human that I've done, was about a week or two, a week or two weeks. And the best thing that I think I did for my own learning was this color picking study that I did. I can pop that in. Mostly I try to study without color picking because I want to like train myself to match colors. But I was, I'm just so lost when it comes to like the colors of human skin that color picking really helped me a lot. This of course is something that is just for me and my own learning and I wouldn't post a color picking study 
but I do want to say that that's what I did that helped me learn a lot so that other people can also learn. But yeah, that is all I have for you today. While this turned out to be longer than I thought because again, the rambling. <laughs> but in any case, I hope this was entertaining or educational for someone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around.